So this is just a quick comparison of metals and nonmetals. So metals are on the left of the jag, nonmetals are on the right of the jag. There's definitely fewer nonmetals than there are metals. So we talked about different types of properties. A type of property where no new substances are formed is called a chemical property, excuse me, called a physical property. So here we have some physical properties uh, that kind of we can we can kind of designate uh, the property with regard to metals and nonmetals. With regard to conductivity, metals kind of have it going on, okay? Metals are generally good at conducting. Now, there's conducting different things. There's conducting uh, uh, electricity and heat. Metals are good at that. Nonmetals are bad at that, and you might intuitively already know that. Another physical property is uh, what is its appearance, and... The appearance of uh, metals are generally shiny, and nonmetals are gen generally dull. With now, the next two actually kind of go together. Uh, if something uh, can be kind of flattened, we call that malleable, and the metals tend to be that way. We can kind of flatten them out. If uh, and nonmetals are not like that, <laughs> metals also tend to be what we call ductile. Ductile just simply is kind of related to malleability. I think you can draw it into a wire. And again, metals have that going on. It kind of seems like metals have more going on than nonmetals, but uh, not necessarily. So this just kind of wraps up. Here's a uh, an image of the periodic table again, um, and it's. I'll just kind of refer you to this box. We'll be talking more about each element. Of course, BE is the element beryllium. The number four we've talked about is what we call the atomic number. And I told you that's the number of what? Number of protons. And, and to me, the periodic table is kind of arranged by increasing number of protons. And then it adds that periodicity thing into it where it kind of wraps around back in on, on itself. This here, we'll be talking more about, I say every box has both the whole number, which is the atomic number, number of protons. And also, I call this the decimal number. And the decimal number is actually how much the atom weighs. So that's a weight thing. And we'll be talking more about that. Um, and I guess, I guess that's it. So um, welcome to the elements and as they are arranged on the periodic table and we are on to an assignment slide dun dun dun